one thing I should add to the video is that the guys are really cool about me videoing at all. Remember, I'm sort of entering into their territory where I've got this video camera and I'm sitting there telling them that, you know, I'm trying to promote the idea of getting some more money for the homeless centre. And if, if I was them, I'd feel a bit shady about being in front of the camera. So I was happy that the guys were, you know, they wanted to listen, agreed to it. And uh, I actually knew one of the guys. I used to go clubbing with him like 10 years ago. Obviously, I, I was a lot different then and so was he. And uh, obviously situations have changed for him as it did change for me. But this is what normally happens. They come in about half eight, nine o'clock at night. And, uh, you know, they grab some food. They get uh, some biscuits. Uh, they get a drink. And uh, they were dead cool, actually. And uh, Ben there standing at the counter, the one with the striped top. He's the guy who uh, was in the podcast. He's um, Albanian. And he uh, basically does volunteer work where he comes and, and helps out. And uh, he he asked me to come along and, and, you know, have a look around and talk to a few people and, uh, you know, see if I can get anybody to talk about it and uh, their experiences of it and what would happen if they shut the centre down. So now I've got this over and done with. I suppose I should get back to the video and uh, let's talk to somebody else. The point being, somebody can prove they're homeless and somebody can prove that they they've got nowhere to live, mm. and they should be a priority case, and they should be looked at being housed somewhere within close, close proximity, you know, within 28 days. So there's not enough people, case workers or whatever, for a start? Yeah, Techniques. I, would say, I, I would agree with that, yeah. Um, at the end of the, there's a pregnant girl in there that's been told she's non-priority. Ben's told me earlier on, and I can't... I... Okay. At the end of the day, can't get the, the, does, does Roger, I don't think you've ever seen Roger, you no. know, who's epileptic, no, who's not... non-priority. You know, when I'm a 28-year-old man who's healthy so and that, well and bright, and you know, so I'm, how am I ever going to be a priority? How, that, am, I, how am I ever going to? Be? I'm not in front of them. I'm, I'm behind them. Do they have a list Sorry. that, like, says these are priority people then, or where did they get the idea of the priority from? Priority is middle class. If you're under 55, you have got no chance. If you can read, you can write, and you've got no serious health issues, and you don't tell them you're going to kill yourself. Yeah. What are these boxes? Yeah, everybody uh, has a box and they keep their personal stuff. Yeah. And uh, also they have one sleeping bag, one pillow and, uh, and a little mat. Right. And that's what they have. But hopefully uh, next time when we reopen again or if there will be a center for this, uh, they will have special lockers. Okay.